Hi there and welcome to this video on GCSE Biology for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of biodiversity and the effect of human interaction on the ecosystem. And in particular, we'll be having a look at biodiversity. I'm Shumana from StudyMind, where we help you revise GCSE Biology with our helpful video tutorials, tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Whilst you are watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything and let us know if it's your first time watching our videos so we can send you our free revision materials. We also have helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you through the specification. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on biodiversity. So in today's tutorial, we are going to have a look at some key definitions and then consider stability of environments. So this is your specification point, so really short and simple, so we should be done with this tutorial pretty soon. So biodiversity is a measure of the variety of living organisms within a particular habitat, ecosystem, biome or all over the earth. So a highly biodiverse environment will be very stable. They will be able to adjust to change very easily. This also indicates that the particular environment has good biological health. Now, why does this, why do we get highly biodiverse environments? So this occurs as the food webs will have more and more overlapping links. Therefore, very few species will rely on only one another species to provide food. There will also be more opportunities for shelter and supplies. Now, in contrast to biodiverse environments, we have non-biodiverse environments, which are very unstable. Now, such ecosystems will find it very difficult to adjust to change. And this also indicates that the particular environment has poor biological health. So there will be fewer overlapping food webs and opportunities to find supplies and shelter. Therefore, if one species is affected, there could be a huge knock-on effect on other species. So this is in our non-biodiverse environment. Now humans are attempting to improve biodiversity. We want more biodiversity. And this is occurring as we've realized that it may be our only method of surviving. We must maintain a high level of biodiversity in order to keep our species alive in the future. Now in future, future tutorials, we will discuss more of the things that we were doing as a species in order to reduce biodiversity and the systems put in place to reduce this. So that's all for today, just a really key definition that you have to learn, biodiversity, which could be a really easy one marker. Understand what a biodiverse environment is, understand what a non-biodiverse environment is, and that's about it. So well done for today, and I'll see you for more tutorials following up on this. Thanks for watching this free video from Study Mind. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to catch our newest videos by clicking below and leave a comment on a topic you'd like a video on. Click here to watch more videos in our series for GCSE Biology or visit our website studymind.co.uk for free past paper compilations by topic and specification.